What it do, Libras? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Girl King. Get you some. Get you some. Get you some. Grand Risings and Grand AM to you. Libras, someone has you on their mind. Right now, in the here and now, in this passage of moments, whenever this video should be finding you. Sun, moon, rising, north, node, wherever Libra may be sprinkled in your chart, you are, of course, welcome right here. Hello to all of my new subscribers, my faithful, ever-growing few, and for those of you just breezing on through what it do. Now, Libra, someone went traipsing off to the amusement park, jumped themselves on a roller coaster ride, and now this person is so sick. So sick at the fact that they chose to go off and amuse themselves at said amusement park. Oh, Libra, they're so sick about this decision. Whoever this is, they're ready to get off the roller coaster ride. They're ready to stop being sick. So we're going to tap into these energies and find out who this is, what's going on. Now, some or all of these messages may or may not resonate with you in this current passage of moments, so Libras, please do only take the messages that vibrate with you. If it's not what rings true for you, then most likely it's not what it do. You know what to do. Leave it on the counter. Please also like, share, and subscribe. Remember to hit that notification bell so you are aware of when your girl is uploading the next videos for you. Someone's in a very melancholy mood. Melancholy. Wow, that's a word. <laughs> What's going on for my Libra's angels? Someone is missing your sweet vibration. We have in your face. <laughs> so someone's getting punched in the face. Maybe with a lesson, maybe with a lesson from you, by you, concerning you. Mm, someone is <laughs> literally being hit smack dab in the face with something. In your face. Mm -hmm. That close. Mm -hmm. Too close for comfort. Something is too close for comfort. With this person, we have mom's new fat diet. So someone is scrambling to enhance their nutrition, what they're intaking. Someone is scrambling to change their body. Again, what they're internalizing. And it's like they're scrambling to do it. <laughs> Look at the movement of the legs. Scrambled eggs could also be significant. Eggs Benedict. So someone, <laughs> this person might be juicing. It's like this person even put their phone down to try to get into a healthier habit, a healthier stance. They completely turn their life themselves upside down to change what this person is internalizing, what they're intaking. Hmm. So this could be a masculine energy. This could be a feminine energy. Both are here. What else? So we have jazz hands, <laughs> jazz hands, jazz hands. Yeah, someone is working on some magic, their <laughs> sleight of hand. It's like someone is working on changing their magic, how they move, how they manipulate things, how they construct things. You know, you build things with your hand. We have the joyous sensation of plucking my random extra long nose hair. <laughs> and as I was talking about earlier, someone missing your sweet sensation, your sweet vibration. <laughs> and we have the joyous sensation here. <laughs> Again, someone is missing the joyous sensation. So, uh, 
someone could be slightly sadistic. A little joy from the pain. Sweet pain. <laughs> Do you hear the saxophone music in the background now? Someone's been listening to jazz, and then we have jazz hands. Yeah, and then the saxophone comes on. Someone's been listening to jazz. And someone <laughs> is not only changing what they're intaking as in nutrition, as in sustenance, someone is also changing what they're listening to, the music. So they're utilizing music as a form of motivation and energetic boost. And this is where this jazz hands comes in. So they're, again, changing all of the things that they're internalizing, what they're allowing into their space, what they're eating, what they're listening to, what motivates them, what motivates them to move. And it's almost like this sweet joy, like in the change. There's a little bit of pain in the change, but it's it's good. It's like pulling out something that was stuck. So it's almost as if this person was stuck in a cycle, stuck in a mindset, stuck in a certain energy pattern. And the change is good, but it hurts a little bit because, you know, change, transition, isn't always easy. No one said it would be. What else, angels? <laughs> so it's almost like this, this person's inner child is a little bit <laughs> afraid at the change because this person may have been operating from a space of a wounded inner child. And so now that this person is making different changes as an adult, their inner child is a little bit shocked at what they are now encompassing, the energy, the changes, the movement, the motivations they are now utilizing. We have Winnie the Pooh. We'll get two more. What else? Hmm. So it's like this person may be interesting. None of those flipped over, but those two did. We'll take those. So we have tooting your own horn and diarrhea for days. Yeah. So this person may be off on a different mission. And there may be people around this person who are kind of digging into this person's shit like when they're not looking. It's like there's people around. Look at quick plan. Got the set falling down. Mm -hmm. So there's people around this person trying to start fires, trying to stop this person from showing certain strength, from making these changes. Okay, so this also, I'll show you guys. This could also be childish people around this person that are afraid of this person's change. Because again, it's like they're scrambling to change what they're internalizing. Then you've got Piglet over here in the next picture, which makes me believe that these are people in this person's circle. This could be family, friends confidants because you know piglet is Pooh's best friend 
You see, Piglet is creeping out of the bushes to look at the shit that Winnie just took. So it's like Winnie is running away from all the shit, leaving all the shit behind, and here comes Piglet to, to dig through it. So it's like there's people sniffing at this person's feet, people trying to distract this person. And this is where I, I see this sleight of hand. You see the gentleman in the background. It's kind of motioning his hands like, come here, Winnie, like over here, over here. A little sleight of hand. To keep this person from tooting their own horn, from from celebrating, from having victory, from having success, from leaving the shit behind, from stepping out of old patterns, old functions. Again, there's a little pain in the chain. You, you hear the music, right? It's like they want this person to stay sick. They want this person to stay stuck in the shit. They want this person to have diarrhea for days, for all their days. They want this person to always stay stuck in the shit. Don't leave them behind. So there may be a best friend, family members kind of tugging on this person, wanting to distract them again from tooting their own horn, from making these changes. Now, Libra, this could also be you. Take it how it resonates. Let's see what else. Some signs in here. Already we have Earth energy, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. <laughs> it says, Give me that baby, you warthog from hell. Hmm. Let's say about that roller coaster ride from hell. We have Raising Arizona, 1987, could be significant. Okay, you could have been born in 87. This Virgo Taurus Capricorn could have. We have fire energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, have you checked the children? What is going on? So we have mom's new fad diet underneath, have you checked the children? So this person may have children, this masculine, this feminine, whoever this is that is wanting to get into tip-top shape. <laughs> They're getting their shit in order. They're getting their ship in order because they don't want to lose out on this golden goose egg, which, i.e., Libra is you, when a stranger calls. So it's interesting that I said this person has put their phone down. You see, they, they put their phone down, right? They're trying to suck every little last bit of juice, sustenance out of this blender. They've, they've turned their whole life upside down. Put the phone down. So this person has, again, cut out distractions. They may have cut off contacts. You may be in no contact with this person. But have you checked the children? So this person is going through <laughs> certain change. Again, they may have cut off family members, friends. They may be going so hard at making this change that there may have even been some distance created between themselves and their children if they have them because it says, have you checked the children? And when a stranger calls, so there's been people calling this person and it's like, no, no, <laughs> I I've got to turn my life upside down. I've got to get healthy. I've got to internalize. I've got to surround myself with different things, with healthier things. <laughs> because this person wants to become a one man, one woman show with you. They want to become this awesome duo. Jazz hands, jazz hands. Mm -hmm. Someone has been putting in the work. <laughs> yeah. They've been putting in the work for some days. 
because they're not going to stay stuck in the shit. <laughs> this person will go through the toils to remove themselves from toxicity. The same toxic shit that people around them want them to be stuck to. Because if you look at Winnie's butt, <laughs> there's a little bit of poo matter. <laughs> He's still stuck to his butt. So again, friends, family member, confidants, people around this person in their circle, in their circumference, want them to stay stuck in this shitty ass, toxic ass energy. Lifelong. <laughs> Just be toxic with us. Don't leave. person, this Virgo Taurus Capricorn, we have more earth energy here. This person has a swing for you, male or female. I'm telling you this person wants to become this awesome duo with you. Wayne's World, part of time, excellent. <laughs> this person could have been born in the 90s. This could be a 90s baby. We have drama. It says, we're family. We believe in each other. That's everything. Yeah, these people trying to stir up the shit to not allow this person to heal, to elevate, to expand, to change. Why would you want to do that? Stay stuck with us? No, don't pluck us out. Oh, these people don't want to be plucked out. They don't want to be left behind. So they're trying to get all into this potential Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn shit. When they're not looking, they just want to distract this person. Come over here, Winnie. Look at this. Look at this. While they get into this person's shit to stir up some shit. So that they what? <laughs> won't toot their own horns. So that they won't have this victory, this achievement of change. Of getting out of the muck and the mire. Getting out of the shit. These toxic family members, friends, confidants, Bohemian Rhapsody. We're family. We believe in each other. That's everything. Oh, they want this person again. We have Rhapsody. They want this person to be harmonious with them. To make music with them. They don't want this person to go making music with anyone else. Hmm. What else is So this person may have been plucking about this change. Contemplating this change since 2018. We have 2018 twice. We have drama and more drama. <laughs> Is that drama three times? Three times on the drama. A lot of water here. So a lot of emotions. It says all power to the people from Black Klansmen. They're after this person's power. So whoever this person is, Libra, this Virgo, this Taurus, this Capricorn, who may have fire in their chart, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, this person has been, again, working on their emotions, working on fixing all of the drama-filled things in their life, getting away from those that would choose to keep this person stuck and tied to the shit for how many days? All their days. You see the calendar? This person's like, if, if I have to crawl away from this shit, if it takes me all my days, I'm going to get away from this toxic shit. You see the beard on this masculine. Willing to put in the work. <laughs> Are you not entertained? From <laughs> Gladiator. And this person is taking action. Because they were entertained. They were amused. 
by the amusement park, by the roller coaster ride that turned out to be the roller coaster ride from hell. Give me that baby, you warthog from hell. Oh, it's fun to, to jump on this roller coaster ride, huh? Yeah, baby, give me the fun. Give me all you got. You know how sometimes, if you've ever been to a theme park, you see a roller coaster and you're like, yeah, I want to ride that. And you think, you know, you've got the balls, the gusto, the gumption, the gut to get on this ride. And then you get on the shit <laughs> and then you start getting scared. You start getting nervous. Like, I don't know, you know, I don't know about this one. This is what happened with this person. <laughs> Again, they went traipsing off to the amusement park, whatever the amusement park is. <laughs> when they got on that roller coaster ride, they were all pumped up and shit. They were ready for it all. And then when it got going, holy bro, when it got going, they were like, oh shit, <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. I need to get off. Well, you know, there's only one way to get off. That's when the roller coaster ride ends. But see, this person has no control over the roller coaster ride. All they can do is control themselves at this point. And so this is what this person is doing, seeking to control themselves so <laughs> they can more effectively handle the roller coaster ride that they chose to get on. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this person is taking action, Libra. They're taking action. Pulling themselves up by the bootstraps. They're ready for war. Because now they're overstanding the choices that they've made, the actions that they've committed to. <laughs> look, at, look at the sign. It says... I am so great. Look at the people in the background. They're like, I don't want to hear this shit. Haters in the midst of this person wanting to celebrate this change. Getting off the fucking roller coaster ride. Look, one more job and I'm done. <laughs> From Baby Driver. <laughs> So someone might have a hard head. Someone might be all in their emotions about whether or not they should take one more ride on this fucking roller coaster. Because again, you know, when you ride a roller coaster, you don't have any control over when the ride ends. It might be a 30 second roller coaster, might be a minute long roller coaster. You don't know when the shit is gonna end. It just ends when it ends and then, you know, you can get your ass off. So this person <laughs> may be caught up in their emotions over whether or not right now if they should take just one more ride, just one more Libra, or would that have them stuck for the rest of their days? Hmm. Sounds like a conundrum of thought. And you know what's funny? What keeps coming up <laughs> and what's kept coming up all day is two minds, two minds. So what we're going to do, <laughs> we're going to check on both sides of the brain here in just a moment. Since there is this two minds energy. So we can't get their thoughts together. What else, angels? We have limo. Yeah, someone isn't feeling too executive. We have more earth energy here. So this is definitely a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. <laughs> it's like their shit's been flipped upside down. This whole lesson has smacked them in the face. They're not feeling too executive now. They're not feeling too much like a boss right now because this lesson, apparently that you've been teaching this person directly, indirectly, Libra, is punching them smack dab in the face. They thought they were the shit. And they thought that they were the bomb. Well, your limo slipped upside down. Not 
looking too boss now. What else? We have balloon. <laughs> we have fire over fire. Yeah, this <laughs> this Virgo Taurus Capricorn definitely has fire in their chart. Leo Aries the Sagittarius. Yeah, they're hoping to lift their own spirits again to change their own life. They're trying to gas themselves up. Maybe this person gaslit you. But again, this person is trying to elevate themselves, elevate their spirit, change what they're internalizing, what they're allowing, what they're accepting. This person may have had very different ideals about interactions with family, with friends, you know, the loyalty expressed in between. And so it's like this person is having to learn a tough lesson about these specific connections to these people in their circle. We have swing. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Boy, things are just lining up. We have swing and then we have swings. <laughs> so this person doesn't want to be a swinger anymore. Don't want to be a swinger no more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't want to be a swinger anymore, Libra. And this person is only one to, wanting to shorty swing your way. Swing. They only want to party with you, Libra. A lot of fire, a lot of heat towards you. A lot of desire, a lot of passion. This person only has eyes for you. They only want to dance with you. They only want to make music with you. They only want to do jazz hands, jazz hands with you, Libra. We have Lamp. Boy, these energies are crazy matching up. We have water on top of water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Yeah, it's like this person has seen the light. They had to see that these people around them were trying to shade them. This is why this lamp is upside down. They had to see that the people around them were shady and they had to pluck this out. They had to pluck these people out. Again, no contact. The phone is on the floor. They're changing what they're internalizing, what they're allowing, who's around them. Because they're sick of the drama. They're sick of people trying to keep them tied up in some shit. Oh, power to the people. It's like this group, these people, these energies around them just see this person as like a, a power source of battery. It's like this person may be the glue of the people around them. We have boxing glove. Yeah, this person... <laughs> They don't want to fight these people. Because we have the boxing glove and it's facing down towards the people, the people around them. But it's like this person is not going to be distracted by them. They're not going to fight them, but they're not going to allow them to distract them, to keep them from this celebration from this victory from again leaving toxic things toxic people patterns behaviors energies behind someone's 
name could be Greg. We have lotion in the reverse. <laughs> these, these people want this person to like be ashy. They want this person to stay stuck in their emotions. Just be ashy. Just be low class. Just be bummy. Just be toxic. Just be toxic with us. Don't moisten yourself up. Don't fulfill yourself. Don't maintain yourself. Don't nourish yourself. Don't change. They just want this person to be low class and ashy like them. But <laughs> lotion is in reverse. It's also in water energy. It's covering up this air energy because this person is having a change of heart, a change of mindset. They're taking action. <laughs> Again, they want to go on this adventure. They want to have this victory of self-change. What else say this? We have pizza. <laughs> Air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, this person is wanting to get away from this life of ease, of convenience, of amusement, of just being entertained. This person is looking for something of more substance, more sustenance, more nourishment. These people are not nourishing these, this person. These people are all about ease. They're all about convenience. They're all about being greasy and cheesy. And this is what this person wants to get away from. People who think the shit is just easy and just want to be greasy. Cheetos could be significant. They're showing me Chester Cheetah. We're going to check on the two sides of the brain since we do have two minds. I'm telling you, just two minds keeps coming up. So. We're going to use these to see what's going on with the left side of the brain, which is the analytical side, the methodical side, the part of the brain that helps with logic, figuring things out, mathematics, facts. So let's see what they're thinking about, what they're trying to figure out, what they're trying to put into order. is when you see a teacher outside of school <laughs> so this person could not escape the lesson boy they tried to get out of learning this lesson and it's like life caught them anyway karma caught them anyway smack dab in the face Oh, you're going to learn this lesson. You thought you didn't have to go to school. You thought you didn't have to learn this lesson about being around toxic people, doing toxic shit, being toxic. Oh, we see you. <laughs> Whether you want to learn this lesson or not. So this person may be thinking about, damn, I just got hit in the, like, there's no way I can escape this. So this person is thinking about the fact that they really have to face this lesson. Going off to the amusement park and thinking that they were just big boss man, big boss lady. They were the shit. They could just do whatever the fuck they wanted to do. Wherein it concerned you. It says when you're a grown up, when a grown up says your entire generation is spoiled. <laughs> So this person is thinking about the fact that they may be spoiled. I'm telling you, they're upbringing. As I said earlier, this person 
it's like their inner child they may have been living from a space of a, a wounded inner child and in all actuality we all do until we learn to heal our inner child and work on those inner wounds So this is what this person has been thinking about working on. Healing that inner child. Taking and internalizing different things. Only wanting to internalize things that sustain them, that nourish them, that grow them, that expand them, that benefit them in the positive. Only allowing things around them, in them, for their highest good. It says when your mom gives you money to buy something and doesn't ask for the change back. <laughs> so this person is thinking about how compassionate you are, Libra, how empathetic you are. This person feels like you're a gift. This person knows that you give from your heart. You operate from your heart space, your heart chakra. And many times you don't ask for things back again. You do things from a heart-centered space. This person also knows, though, you don't take any shit. You're very giving, you're very compassionate, very empathetic, very intuitive, very intelligent. <laughs> However, you're not weak. Nor should your kindness ever be taken for weakness. So it's like this person is thinking about <laughs> not wanting to swing back to those old ways of receiving and not giving. Always getting their way, being spoiled. Getting something for nothing in return. This person knows that they can't do that with you. And that's what they're thinking about. That they can't expect something from you without giving something in return. It says when the table next to you orders after you, but gets their food first. So it's like this person is thinking about how can I say this? It's almost as if this person feels like there was some type of blessing or some type of gift that you received that they also wanted but it's like because you went about it in a different way you received it before them <laughs> even though they kind of feel like they asked for it first I know that sounds weird but It's like this person had to see the fact that you had already learned this lesson about cutting off toxicity, about really being aware of what you internalize, what you allow, what you have around you. And so that's why you receive this gift, this benefit, this ascension, this level up 
potentially before this person because it's like their light bulb went off after yours or turned on after yours they didn't see the light yet they hadn't learned the lesson yet it says when someone gives you a friendship bracelet and you like the person but not the bracelet so again this person is thinking about who's around them these people that they have friendships with, these family members that they have connections with, people who are around them who pretend to be their best friends, their, their best family members, and they seek to do nothing but dig around in their shit to stir up some shit. So this person is looking at who they're connected to, these connections they have. That's what the bracelet represents, right? A circle, a connection, a tie. So this person is also thinking about their spiritual ties to these people. They may like these people, they may love these people, but they're starting not to like the connection, i.e. the bracelet. It says when your friend's bedtime is later than yours. <laughs> So this person's sleeping patterns may also be changing. So not only are their emotions changing, not only are they changing mentally, physically, because again, their, their sleep patterns are changing. So this person may be going to sleep earlier. They may be getting their beauty rest, whether this is a masculine or a feminine. They're really paying attention to their health at this time. <laughs> when your friend's bedtime is later than, than yours, yeah, they're <laughs> friends who don't want to hear about all these good changes. The fact that this person doesn't want to stay up late, they don't want to go out, they don't want to party. They don't want to hear this new sound, this new beat <laughs> that this person is marching to. They don't want to hear it. So this person may be thinking about the discord, the disruptions and the connections with the people that are around them. It says when you say something funny and nobody hears it, then someone else repeats it and everyone laughs. So, it's like things aren't the same when this person is moving away from the toxicity, when they're trying to get themselves out of this situation. It's like no one knows the struggle this person is going through, they feel, in getting away from toxic situations and toxic people. Yeah, because no one wants to listen. And it's like people think it's funny. So these are all the things that this person is trying to think about logically to get into order. They're trying to really put the puzzle pieces together to come to the determination, the realization that People that they may have been around for a long time, people that they've trusted really aren't in their corner. They're really just there to kind of take from them and take off of them. And it's like this person doesn't want to fight these people, but this person knows that they have to get away from these people, away from these energies. This Virgo, this Taurus, this Capricorn who's potentially got fire in their chart. Now, let's see what the right side of the brain is thinking, since this person is definitely into minds. Now, the right side of the brain is the more creative side, the more artistic side. This is the side of imagination, of intuition, of... Um, 
daydreaming. And just what's going on with the right side. Look at this already. Hmm. <laughs> we're, we're real creative with the thinking right now. This one is. since of all of these came out kind of in a rush this person again is, is using more so the right side of their brain so they're using their intuition again their discernment I said that earlier and one more so they've been creative vis creatively visualizing how to get out of this situation and away from these people it says, when your best friend asks you what's funnier than 24. So this person is <laughs> thinking about how these friendships may no longer make sense. This is the lesson that may be smacking them real hard in the face right now. This is a very tough lesson for this person to learn. And maybe that's an inside joke I'm not familiar with. Familiar with. Myth. Mm. Myths could be <laughs> significant. But this person is seeing through the myths that their friends, their family members, their confidants, the people in their circle are telling them shit is just not funny anymore. Shit isn't making sense. The things that used to be funny to them, the things that used to amuse them, that used to entertain them, no longer entertain this person. They no longer amuse this person. It's all shits and giggles until it's not. We have when you lose eels and escalators. <laughs> now I'm guessing this is a <laughs> similar reference to shoots and ladders. So this person is tired of playing the games. When you lose eels and escalators. Eels are kind of snake-like. Eels are in the sea. So this person is tired of dealing with people who are snakes, snake-like. People who are emotionally snake-like. Scaly, deceitful, dark, slithering. Harry Potter could also be significant. So this person is tired of dealing with the snakes in the face because escalators, when you lose eels and escalators, these people are not elevating. These energies are not elevating this person. They're not adding to their sustenance. <laughs> these people have no substance. Sally sold seashells by the seashore. Get it together! See? When you lose eels and escalators, they're not adding any sustenance to this person. So this person's like, we may have to lose them. It says, when the Krabby Patties go straight to your thighs and then you blow up. <laughs> uh, what did I say about this person working on their diet? They're concerned with their physical. Because being in toxic situations around toxic people can be very damaging to you physically, mentally, emotionally, metaphysically. Holes in your aura. Energy leaks. Mm -hmm. It gets deep. 
And this person has been working on the shit, working on themselves because again, they want to celebrate. They want to come into union with you. They want to dance with you. They want to do jazz hands with you, Libra. This male, this female, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. It says, when you fail your voting exam because you ran over the narrator of the show. This person has had to crash the narrative. The narrative that this person was living by that was really designed by the people around them. The narrative that this person had been fed for a long time. And this is why this person had to revitalize, rejuvenate what they were intaking, what they were eating. They failed to see the light before that these people just wanted to keep them stuck. But again, there's been a little bit of sweet pain in plucking these people away. It says, when your crime-fighting partner joins evil, every villain is lemons. <laughs> every villain is lemons. All these people are fucking sour pusses. Look at this. When your crime partner when your crime fighting partner joins evil. When I, look, at, look at the best friend. Look at the best friend. Look at Piglet over here about to get all into Winnie's shit. When Winnie's not looking. When Winnie is being distracted. Or is he? Dun, dun, dun. Just kidding. But seriously. The best friend, the family members, these people who used to be crime fighters <laughs> or partners in crime. You know, take it how it resonates. They've become evil. Snakes, eels. They've joined the other fucking side. And where did they want Winnie or this Virgo or this Taurus or this Capricorn to be? Right with them. Right Right with them, Libra, because what were they saying? We're family. We believe in each other. That's everything. Power to the people. You're with us, aren't you? This person was like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Got to change this shit. I'm thinking of some different shit I'm going to do. Some different shit. Even if you want the little bit of shit that I used to do to still stay attached to me. This person does not want to end up <laughs> stuck in this shit for a lifetime. Stuck to the toxicity for a lifetime. They don't want to do it. It says when you accidentally draw an oval instead of a circle to protect you from a sea bear. <laughs> and as we have Winnie the Pooh up here, this bear right down here. Next, next column over. <laughs> It's like this person didn't know that they were going to have to protect themselves. They thought that these people were really in their corner, that these people were really in their circle. This person had a fucked up circle. It says we accidentally draw an oval instead of a circle. <laughs> well, an oval is kind of a fucked up circle, right? Let's just be honest. It's egg shaped, right? It's kind of circular, but it's not. It's, it's a fucked up circle. <laughs> this person accidentally got themselves involved in a fucked up circle. And now they need protection from these same people, because Winnie the Pooh is a bear, but protection from a sea bear. These people who are emotionally aggressive. 
and put a lot of pressure upon this person. Again, that's why this person doesn't want to fight them because these people are already aggressive. They have become evil and this person does not want to be evil with them. Last card, it says, when you make your coworker a sweater out of your eyelashes, but they don't like it, so you make them one out of your tears instead. We have coworkers here. So, so this could be family members. This could be coworkers. These could be friends. Groups of people around whoever this Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, I mean, just, who is in this person's corner? I hope the most high. Hope they've been working that out. Not only their connection with themselves, but their connection to source. So it's, again, a little bit painful at this change, at this lesson that this person is having to come to the realization of that not everybody around you is in your corner. So, Libras, that's what I have for you in this specific passage of moments. Thank you so much for your time, your energy, your watch. I do appreciate and love each and every single one of you, whether you are Libra or not. Any and all pertinent information concerning this video is listed down below in the description box. Libras, please do share your, or share these <laughs> videos with other wonderful souls such as yourselves. Even if they're Libra or not, they may still find something within the video that resonates with them so thank you in advance for that please do continue to utilize your own intuition and discernment to make the very best decisions for your highest good and i know that you will libras i do love you and i thank you united we stand together we rise holla at you girl peace